And welcome into Bon Appetit. You know, summertime is a time that we do a lot of outside grilling. Meats and vegetables are wonderful things to grill, but to make them more healthy, use olive oils. Ed Gannon's here right. from Vintage Olive. <laughs> and Ed, you've prepared some wonderful things today. And olive oil becomes the base for all this, doesn't it? Yeah, and the balsamic vinegars too. So yeah, oh, absolutely. Both. Yeah, yeah. And good, great tastes. Yes, yes, exactly. So what do we got today? Well, today we have, uh, this is, actually, you know, we live on our farm, so this is right. a venison burger. But we'll mix a little breadcrumbs in there mm -hmm. with it and a sage and wild mushroom olive oil because venison is so lean. Mm -hmm. And when you make that patty, it'll be tender, juicy, and will dry out. So that, and you can add different oils and vinegars you know, mm -hmm. to it. This is the ahi tuna. Of course, for me and Carly, this is like well done. <laughs> Ours okay. would be really, really, really. Yeah. But uh, this has a honey ginger balsamic on it and a little of a cracked pepper rub. But there again, there's all kinds of combinations, which mm -hmm. and we have sheets that we give away at the store with some suggestions. Of, oh, good. Uh, and then this is a pork pork chop that are marinated in let's say, the maple balsamic vinegar with the butter olive oil. Mm. And the butter olive oil has no butter in it, but it tastes like melted butter, so it's healthy. I'll be. And then the chicken tenders, mm -hmm. uh, they'll be with peach and rosemary, peach balsamic vinegar with rosemary olive oil and a shake of the urban LLC salt, mm -hmm. just the big seller. And then these are the little simple things to do with the jalapenos. You just hollow them out, slice them up. I put a little garlic on them, garlic olive oil with a sp sprinkle of herbal sea salt, and these are roasted yellow mm -hmm. bell peppers. And these, uh, all these recipes or, or these spices that you use, they're available at your store? Yes, sir. We have about 50 hand blended seasonings. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, so, yeah, there we got a lot of them. And then you've got the recipes, like you said, available mm -hmm. also, so people mm -hmm. can learn how to use those. Things. They're available online, and we got a whole wall of them in the store that we can get. And then them. what do you do with the vegetables, like over here? We've got a frying pan full of wonderful vegetables. Yeah, the skillet vegetables, and we also do it in a grilling basket on the grill, so you can mm. grill them. But uh, this is just some broccoli, the sweet yellow red peppers, some zucchini, mushrooms, and onions. Put a little olive oil of your choice. I use the garlic and rosemary. Mm -hmm. And then actually we have a bread dipping seasoning. It's one of our favorites. And so it's got some bread dipping seasoning in there. Mm -hmm. so just because it says bread dipping, you can use the other thing. And then just saute them till they get a little crisp on them. Or if you grill them in a basket, just shake the basket till they get a little crisp on them. Mm -hmm. and, and then again, you said something very interesting too. You can say, you can take a lot of these vegetables that you've already grilled, mm -hmm. what's ever left over, put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in the refrigerator, then if you want to use them again, mm -hmm. you just bring them out and they're ready to go. Yeah, that's one of our favorite things. We always cook a lot more than we're going to use that one night because right. they're super handy to have in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. like you said. And this also is really delicious on a baked potato. Like that vegetable, oh, yeah. grilled vegetable yeah. combination, mm -hmm. put it on a baked potato or mix it in with your butter beans or Amen. so you can do other things with them. And then of course, shish kebab. Yep. This is also just grilled uh, on Valde onions, some zucchini, yellow squash, and uh, just pick your olive oil of choice and a seasoning and just grill them up. This is Brussels sprouts, and uh, which is lavender balsamic vinegar is our favorite on mm -hmm. them. And one thing we do on the Brussels sprouts, most recipes will tell you to trim them. But then mm. a lot of the leaves fall off. Right. We wait and trim them after we cook them. That okay. way you can get all the you get those good leaves that crisp up good on the outside that don't fall off. Yeah, and a lot of times that's where all the vitamins are anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all the flavor. Yep, and, and all the flavor inside. <laughs> yeah, that crispy outside is delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, those are wonderful things. We're going to take these things that you showed us how to grill, and again, when you come back next week, we're going to be talking about how to turn them into a wonderful salad because yes, everybody's sir. interested in summertime for a salad, but we want it to be simple and easy. Mm -hmm. And of course, now it's Vintage Olive. They're located in the Pepper Tree Shopping Center, open from Tuesday through Saturday. That's correct, 10 to 6. 10 to 6 each day. That's and correct. again, you can go in there and try the different olive oils because when you go in there, you're going to be amazed at the amount of olive oils and vinegars that are available. But each one of these things is very natural and very good for you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No, we got. We can mix it up and uh, marinate our salad dressings in little cups so you can taste it before you leave mm -hmm. so you know exactly what you're getting. Great. And again, like you say, you can go online and get more information mm -hmm. and you can learn all about everything that they have to offer at the Vintage Olive. And we'll be right back right after this. <music> 